Alright, what's up folks, it's me, Barky, and I'm here with another biomes mod for Rimworld Beta 18, and this has to be the coolest biomes mod I've ever seen in my life. From concept to finish, this is easily the coolest one. So this is Biomes Caverns, made by a whole collection of mod makers, including Dragon1993, Swenzi, Xeonova Dan, and Pro Prime Gaming. We've seen a few things from Swenzi and Dan a few times. But uh, the rest are relatively unknown. But anyways, it doesn't matter because they've all come together to make this awesome mod. Which is apparently going to be a series of mods. So this will be the first one. So this is Biomes Caverns. So let me zoom out far. This is a medium sized map by the way. I'm just using Camera Plus to show off the actual world. And you can see it is a giant cave. A giant cave with sprawling little corridors. I don't actually know what the word is for these tunnels kind of thing. But yeah, these tunnels just roam throughout the entire map. So if I take a look at the world map, you can actually see what it looks like. It looks like uh, like a dark grayish color. It says cavern on it. And it has impossible terrain, but you can actually set up base on this impossible terrain. So just for fun, I set it up so that there's a little river coming through because I wanted to see what that looked like. Now, I know I'm going to get asked, uh, is this compatible with advanced biomes? So I set them both up. And yes, it apparently is, from what I can see, this does work with advanced biomes, as I've got them both on the world, and they both work fine. But you'll see that caverns actually come in between the custom ones, but you can see lots of little, um, little strike, little stripes of cavern? I don't know if that's the right English word, but lots of little stripes of caverns everywhere, which is really cool. It's really, really awesome. Anyways, let's get back to the map. So this is the map. I've gone ahead and set up a little testing area over here to show off all the new animals it adds in, as well as all the new plants it, that you can grow. So I'm going to go ahead and play while we take a look at these animals. So we have a whole lot of pawns being added into the game. A whole lot. There's 15 in total, which is just massive for a mod, really, if you think about it. Um, so first up, we have the fruit bat. I'm not going to go through all their stats, just by the way, as that'll take quite a while. And it's a gigantic waste of time because this mod isn't focused on that. We have the fruit bat, which is a little bat. It's incredibly quick from what I can see. The pale lizard. Tiny lizard. Uh, we have the crystal crab. Let's see if I can get a good look at this guy's face. As you can see, this guy is massive. I do want to take a look at his stats quickly. Just to see how big this creature is. Life expectancy, only 10 years. That's pretty interesting. Body size of 1.7. Alright, so he's actually not that big. This is just a bit misleading. Alright, then we have the jelly pot bug. Cute little bug. I mean, cute is probably the wrong word for this, but we have the bovine beetle, and then a mole. We have the pill bug. This thing looks really weird. Uh, just take a moment to appreciate the artwork on these things, by the way. I love a mod with decent arts, with a decent art style, and this really does have one. All right, then we have the, the royal rhino beetle. <laughs> this thing just looks so evil. It looks like a Digimon, although I'm sure I'm sure this is based off that beetle that looks like this in real life. I don't actually know if this is the name of it, but yeah, whatever. Okay, I'm not very educated. All right, the Max Solitol. Uh, man, this thing looks really weird. Giant relatives of the Axolotl. Hmm, that's pretty cool. We have the slime. Kind of looks like me, to be honest. Looks like me in real life. Feels bad. Uh, <laughs> Giant snail. So these things can actually be caravaned if you tame them, which is very interesting because you want to take a giant snail with you on a caravan. We have the Spectre Shrimp. Spectra Shrimp. Uh, these things are pretty cool. Then we have the Massive Cave Spider, which is apparently king of the mod. It's king of the world when you spawn in this thing. Um, walked into Skull Top Spore. Alright, that's new. I'll have to take a look at that just now. Uh, so this is apparently king of this mod when you spawn in. Uh, incredibly tough, incredibly hard to kill. It'll mess you up. Melee DPS set at 3.5. Yeah. What is its body size? 1.5. Smaller than a thrombo, which is very interesting. Uh, then we have a vampire bat. Speculation. They feed off people. <laughs> a little bit, little bit scary. How strong are these bats, I wonder? Alright, this is not actually that hard to kill. Okay, cool. So then we have the plants that we set up over here. These are the plants added in by the game. I've made two rows, one for no light and one for light. So these are light required and these are not light required. Or oh, actually, they can't grow with light on them. So first up, we have the glow stool. This is in the default game. 
in the vanilla game, but the mod does change it apparently slightly. Dude, what are these people doing? Can you guys not see that you're walking into a kelt a skull top spore? God damn, I'm trying to record a video. Alright, all fixed. I just like the noise of hearing the little creatures in the background. Um, yeah, so you can't actually grow this in the default game, but this mod allows you to, which is pretty interesting. You used to be able to in a very early version of Beta 18, uh, then they changed it. Alright, so the Mortal Moral is next, and this is a type of fungus that you can harvest, and you get, I think you get Herbal Medicine, which is very cool. Alright, so just to speed things up, I actually turned on Fast Ecology so we could take a look at the rest of these and what they produce. So next up, we have the Ink Cap, which produces this fungal fiber which is pretty cool. Next up, we have the mushroom tree, which is just the tree of underground because obviously it's going to be very hard to grow wood in this place. This spawns pretty much the exact same thing, which is nice. Next up, we have the glow fruit tree, which spawns in glow fruit, which is something that you can eat and it lasts for quite a long time. Then we have the uh, pale beets, which unfortunately died because I turned on fast ecology and they grew really quickly. But yeah, this gives you pale beets, which is nice. They'll regrow now, so that'll be cool. Then we have the Kessinger Mushrooms, which makes Kessinger Mushroom over here. And, oh, look at these. These look really cool. The Dolchus, or is it Dulcis? Dolchus? I don't know. The Dolchus Mushroom. It's oddly sweet mushroom. And you can eat the stuff. It doesn't last as long as the rest of the food in this place. And then we have the Bluebell Mushroom which gives you blue ball cuts over here, and this is shroom, so this is a type of drug that you can take. Yeah, you take shrooms. Alright, so there's shrooms in the mod, very interesting. And this is what the uh, beets look like, the pale beets look like a beautiful kind of flower, which is pretty cool. Alright, so I just went and spawned in all of this stuff. I think it's pretty good to do that. Let me turn back on fast ecology so we can take a look at these mushroom trees growing. You can see the glow stool, the glow uh, fruit trees growing over here. Alright, everything's dead. Welcome to harvest this. So this is how you get wood in this biome, which is pretty cool. Obviously this is equivalent to wood. Yeah, but you do get other materials. So I built this out of crystal shards, which is something that you find in the mod naturally spawning. Um, but not only that, you also get coal, which I can go ahead and spawn in a bit here so we can take a look at it. And coal is a replacement for wood. You can use it to fuel stuff as well as build stuff out of it, which is nice. And then you get the fungal log, which I've shown you already. Here's coal. The coal wall. Can you imagine building a building out of coal? <laughs> Seems a little bit weird. You do get other items that drop from these animals, such as harvesting them or killing them, which is pretty cool. You can get beetle armor, mole claw, or honeydew. And then they can all move in water, which is also really interesting. Um, which is like, things can move in deep water in this mod, which is nice. So if you spawn in a river like I have, and you can see the river goes around here, you can still move around in deep water. So as you can see at the bottom there, deep water walk speed at 12%. And then I think deep moving water is at 9%. Yeah, deep moving water at 9.4%. So that's very interesting. But this is the Caverns mod made by, well, it's in the series Biomes, made by a few mod makers. I think this is easily the best Biomes mod I've come across ever. Um, I'm hoping to see the next one they make is going to be just as good or better. That would be freaking amazing. But I'm going to put a link in the description. Go send the mod makers some love. Seriously, please go urge them to keep working on stuff like this because it is absolutely fantastic. Play with this mod, give it a go. Not only that, but this mod actually will, actually will save you a lot of performance because half the map is not rendering, which is fantastic. So if that interests you, then at least for performance sake, it's really good. Anyways, have a fantastic day, everyone. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. It's really, really awesome of you. I've got a Discord server that's free for all to join if you'd like to come and have a chat with me or anyone else. And I've also opened up a Patreon page to help fund my videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and take a look at the description. Have a great day and thank you very much for watching.